Let, let me take you back to, I mean, you were the first black mechanical engineer. Talk to yes. me about that experience. I mean, that must have had its own challenges, Albert. Uh, a lot of challenge, a lot of challenges, uh, uh, Trevor. Excuse me, because uh, when I started as a trainee mechanical engineer, I was the first uh, black trainee engineer. That was at the time when uh, the, almost uh, ninety percent of NRZ was predominantly white. Never mind in specialized areas like engineering. And uh, starting from shop floor, artisans, supervisors engineers and seniors, it was all white. So I came in here, there as a, the only black person, uh, also going through the training program, where I was uh, supposed to work with all these white people in their offices, on their work floor, uh, shop floor, on their machines. There was a lot of resistance, a lot of it. They just mm. didn't understand it. Mm. But I mean, having had my own background experience, I had the muscle to push through that, to demand what I thought uh, uh, I needed. So I went through the training programs as an assistant mechanical engineer, as a mechanical engineer, as an assistant chief mechanical engineer, and until I became a chief mechanical engineer. Mm. So throughout, uh, that period, you know, the mechanical engineering uh, department in NRZ uh, was one of the biggest departments that employed uh, uh, just over 5,000 employees in the whole system. And uh, the workshops were uh, one of the biggest workshops in Southern Africa. And uh, uh, looking at Bula workshops and Mutare workshops. So it was quite, uh, quite an intensive program that uh, took me through all aspects of engineering. Because uh, in the railways is so diverse, you can find just about every trade that you can think of. Mm -hmm. By the time you get to the top there as a chief mechanical engineer, you had to have the expertise and knowledge to drive uh, that department uh, for the future uh, benefit of NRZ. Mm. So ultimately, when I got to chief mechanical engineer, again, we went through the same interview processes and uh, until I was recommended as a, as a chief mechanical engineer, mm. running the uh, Bulawayo workshops and Mutare workshops and uh, running shares in Bulawayo and Gweru and Harare. Mm. So it was a pretty big department. I enjoyed it. Do, do you remember the specific pushback that you had as the first black mechanical engineer at NRZ? Do you remember, do you have any uh, memories of uh, how you were, you were treated and how you were resisted? Uh, very much so. I mean, uh, look, uh, every morning we used to have uh, uh, what we call production, uh, production meetings where all the supervisors in the workshops and all the engineers met together to discuss and agree on the production program of the day. Uh, the offices were kind of upstairs in the workshops. And uh, there I was, the only black person in that meeting. Everybody else was white. And uh, for me to start relating to them, it wasn't easy. And for them to accept me as one of them, uh, it wasn't easy. Uh, but uh, look, I developed this muscle uh, to, to push for what I wanted. And in some cases, uh, uh, Trevor, uh, when I was going around the workshops, each time I would go to the office of one of the supervisors or, or engineers, when they saw me come into their office, they, they would just walk away. <laughs> So I, I, I'd either wait for him until he comes back or I'll follow him. 